There's been a lot in the news recently about space technology and increased competition in the space aviation industry. In this video, we will show you how one private company seems to be beating the competitors in the space race to achieve efficient and cost-effective space travel. This private company is none other than Elon Musk's SpaceX. Today's episode promises to be a very interesting one, so make sure to stay until the very end to get every little bit of detail. So sit back, relax, and let's dive straight in. Space travel is nothing new, and one of the pioneers of space voyages was NASA. For decades, NASA blazed the trail in space travel, and a lot of what we know about the solar system came from studies and exploration efforts conducted by NASA. But at what cost? The argument for and against NASA has been evenly split. Proponents of NASA's space program argued that without this agency, the world will still be ignorant about the solar system, and they are right. NASA shined the light and made the first steps to establish contact with other planets far removed from the Earth. As for those who criticize NASA's space program, they do so not because they feel space exploration is unnecessary, but rather because of the huge costs spent on such explorations since the 1970s. NASA spent over $200 billion on space tours, and the cost keeps climbing higher by the day. So much so that many analysis, government bureaucrats, and members of the public began to see it as a wasteful expenditure. With costs becoming unsustainable, NASA began to fund private companies to help transport payloads to the ISS, the International Space Station, and to also transport NASA astronauts too. To achieve this objective, they needed reliable space aviation companies, and while they were few, one company stood head and shoulders above the other competitors, SpaceX. Founded in 2002 by Elon Musk, SpaceX has driven costs down far below what NASA could ever imagine. To put things in their proper perspective, let us consider this data. NASA has spent the tune of $209 billion on 138 space shuttles, which translates to $1.6 billion per launch. Compare that figure to SpaceX that launches a space shuttle at $209 million per launch. If we go by SpaceX costing, for $209 billion, Elon Musk's company would have been able to successfully carry out over a thousand shuttle flights instead of the 134 carried out by NASA so far on the same budget. Now this begs the question, why has SpaceX, a private startup, been able to achieve cost efficiency in a way that NASA, a government agency, could not? What makes SpaceX such an innovative company, even though they operate under a much smaller budget and with limited experience compared to NASA? How has SpaceX been able to best competition by keeping costs so low? These are the following questions, and we're going to provide answers to them in the remaining parts of this video. 4. NASA spaceships were complex machines The United States and the old Soviet Union were rivals. Both companies were not only in an arms race, but also in a solar race as well. Both countries wanted to be the first to reach space and to establish dominance over the solar planets. Both nations achieved relative success, but paid a huge price for their pursuits. The US under NASA built extravagant spaceships with high-tech designs that were groundbreaking. NASA wasn't just interested in reaching the moon and surrounding planets. They wanted to make the best and most advanced spaceships. They eventually did, but at a high cost. NASA engineers were short-sighted and did not factor in the maintenance costs associated with making such elaborate ships. They drove budgets off the roof year after year with no end in sight. How did SpaceX respond? Elon Musk once asked, Is a Ferrari better than a Ford, a BMW, or a Benz? This question was a rhetorical question meant to pass a message. A Ferrari may be an advanced sports car, but a Ford or BMW can make the same trip that a Ferrari can. The question exemplified the organizational strategy of SpaceX. Rather than focus on quality, they focused on cost efficiency without endangering the lives of the shuttle crew. Their Dragon ships were the result. SpaceX ships can make trips to the International Space Station at a much lower cost than NASA, Russia, Boeing, and China's Long March rocket. In a report released by NASA, the financial contracts signed between the space agency and contractors reveal the following figures, and they are startling to say the least. Flights carried out by Boeing will cost NASA $90 million using their Starline ships. SpaceX, on the other hand, will charge NASA $55 million using their Dragon ships for the same flights. That's a huge $35 million. Records show that flights with Boeing are 60% more expensive than with NASA, and remember that both companies fly cheaper than NASA can fly. Under a previous arrangement with Russia, another country with an equally advanced space aviation capacity 
NASA paid $86 million per space shuttle flight. As you can see, SpaceX has made space travel a lot cheaper than others before them, including present company. As if their cost efficiency is not enough, their goal is to continue to innovate until space flights reach an all-time low of $2 million, something that would have been inconceivable about a decade ago. 3. No predetermined timeline Every project ought to have a start and end date. This is one universally agreed upon rule that is generally accepted upon all over the world. Strangely enough, the powers that be at NASA didn't bear that in mind. In all fairness, the initial plan by NASA was to run the space project for a period of 15 years maximum. However, they kept extending this time, and today the project has lasted for 30 years. And as you know, the longer the time, the more the cost. Let's take a look at the statistics yet again. The initial developmental cost of the project was $5.15 billion, with an initial cost per launch of $10.5 million. Unfortunately, this figure was not sustainable, and NASA eventually spent over $209 billion and an estimated $209 million per shuttle launch. That's more than 20 times their initial budget. How did SpaceX respond? SpaceX, starting from 2002, had short-term goals, which was to design crafts that could transport payloads and astronauts to the solar planets. Nothing more, nothing less. As the years progressed, they gradually extended their plans. This helped them to control costs by staying within budget and putting money where it is required. This has helped them reduce both overhead and operational cost. With an employee base of 1,500 professionals, SpaceX has been able to draw, target, and achieve short-term goals with a longer-term vision in mind. Number 2. Competition In the beginning, the old USSR was a direct competition that the US had to defeat in the space race. If the Russians had Yuri Gagarin, the US had to have their own Michael Armstrong. Many will argue that competition brought out the best in NASA, and they might be right. However, since the disintegration of the Soviet Union into many sovereign states, the competition disappeared, and it had significant implications. NASA continued to blaze the trail in space travel, but the lack of a competitor stifled innovation in no small measure. Most of the long-term plans made by the agency was no longer tenable. In fact, they proved to be costly mistakes, and in hindsight, decision-makers at the agency should have taken a different approach. The initial estimated lifespan of a NASA space shuttle was supposed to run for less than 20 years. But with the establishment of the International Space Station, the organization had to use their old ships to transport payloads from Earth to the station. Running on old ships placed a strain on NASA's budget, and the possibility of building new ships was out of the question due to their significant costs. The International Space Station is now billed to be shut down by 2024. That is in just a few years, and this is indeed bad news for NASA. But why? Simply because their space program was extended by more than 20 years due to the building of the space station, which cost a further $100 billion. Spending so much on a station that shuts down in a few years does not represent good value for money. How did SpaceX respond? Rather than position itself as a rival or competitor to NASA, SpaceX positioned itself as a contractor. By offering NASA cheaper flights, SpaceX helped the government agency reduce its budget while staying in business and making a profit in the process. It is no small wonder that as of today, SpaceX transports roughly two-thirds of NASA's payloads from Earth to the ISS at a cost far cheaper than those of its rivals. Competition has also made SpaceX more efficient because Elon Musk and his partners run it as a business with limited resources, so every move has to be strategic. Competing with Boeing, United Launch Alliance, Chinese firms, and the Russian Space Agency has made SpaceX a very innovative company. This has enabled them to earn investors' confidence and to also win contracts for their troubles. Number 1. Bureaucracy Last but not least is government bureaucracy. Government intervention reduces decision-making timelines since budgets and projects have to be reviewed and passed through Congress and other oversight committees. Maintaining a large workforce also increases administrative and overhead costs even further. The bureaucratic red tape and expanded administrative costs make for operational inflexibility, something that affects all government agencies and not only NASA. How did SpaceX respond? Being a startup company, SpaceX is not bedeviled by the same challenges affecting NASA. With a small group of decision makers at the helm, decisions are made quickly and projects are approved in less time. Furthermore, with a dedicated employee group of just 1,500 staff, they can maintain strict control over their administrative budget, which is significantly lower than that of NASA. 
In conclusion, the purpose of this video is not to downplay the achievements and contributions of NASA. In fact, without NASA, we will not know much about what we know today as regards to space travel and life on the moon as other surrounding planets. Rather, we are merely pointing out the innovative approach SpaceX has taken to become the premier space shuttle company it is today. The partnership between NASA and SpaceX is one that we hope will stand the test of time, as both companies support each other when it comes to space exploration. With Mars being the new goal of solar explorers, we should not be surprised to see astronauts erect a greenhouse on the planet filled with nutrients and edible seeds to establish life. At this point, no one will bet against Elon Musk and SpaceX. Thank you for watching this video. While you're here, why not click on one of these two videos on your screen to learn something new? See you there!